Hello everyone and welcome to this week's tech tip. Um, today we're gonna see how to clean, uninstall and reinstall your MWF build. Uh, just to get started, I have uh, my uh, Revit project open here and as you can see I have um, already MWF installed. Okay. Um, first thing first I would like to do is I would just navigate to the wall module and here under settings I would find a feature called global settings import and export. It's really important to export your settings before you uninstall the MWF. Um, so let's just click on this. As you can see, you would see this dialog box. Here, all you need to do is just basically browse the location you want to save your global settings. So I'm just going to click on browse and you can just name the settings. <clears throat> you can also make a new folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new folder and we'll call it global settings and click OK. And that's it. You can just export all the settings. And we would find our settings under um, the location. As you can see, I have my global settings here. Um, right now I have nothing, so it doesn't show anything. But that's how basically you would want to export your global settings. Once it's done, please make sure you close the Revit. Just gonna say no for now. Um, next step would be to go to the control panel. So I'm just gonna go to the search bar and I'm just gonna type control panel. In control panel, I'm gonna look for a, a specific feature um, called programs and features. I'm gonna click on this. And here I would find the build that has been installed in my computer. For this uh, uh, tech tip, I have installed MWF Pro Suite 2023. So this is my build. So I would just go ahead and right click on this and I would uninstall this build. Okay. Are you sure you want to uninstall? I'm just going to click yes. And it will take a few seconds. That's it. Next step would be we are going to delete some of the folders manually since it's a clean uninstall. For that, we're going to open our file explorer. Okay. Um, we're going to navigate through our local uh, disk C um, and first folder that we will delete is in the program files and if you scroll down you would see a folder called success solutions okay and here um, you're just gonna delete the Revit tools and whatever um, a Revit ear that you're using for um, this I'm using Revit 2023 so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, delete this folder as you can see here and that's it um, I would go back to my local disk C and I would um, navigate to program data. Uh, for some of the users, if they don't, do not see program data, um, the reason could be it's hidden. So for that, all you need to do is just view, uh, click on the view, go to the show, and just make sure the hidden items is, is turned on. If it's turned off, as you can see, I wouldn't be able to see the program data. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on the hidden items. Once I see the program data, I'm just going to double click on this. I would again scroll down till I see Structsoft Solutions folder. Okay. And again, we're going to delete um, the 2023 um, folder. Once it's done, I'm going to download the new build for from the Structsoft portal. Um, for that, I'm just going to go to the Structsoft Solutions website and I'm just going to click on login. And once I log in and enter my credentials, this is how the portal looks like. Okay. Um, and once I scroll down, I would see all the builds available to me. Okay. Um, and for this, I'm just going to click on MWF Advanced Model 2023. Okay. And uh, the suitable version. And I'm just going to click download. Okay. I have already downloaded the build. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to reinstall the build. So this is the build that I've downloaded um, from the portal. Okay. So first thing first, I'm just going to right click on this and I would go to the properties and please make sure uh, you always unblock the build. It just basically reads the file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer. So make sure you always unblock um, this step. Okay. Once it's unblocked, it's checked. All you need to do is just click OK. Now you can just go ahead and double click on the build. You would see this dialog box. We're just gonna continue. We're gonna accept the terms and conditions for the license agreement, and we're gonna install the build.
And once the installation is completed, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open my Revit one more time. And as you can see, my new build is now installed. And that's it. That's how you basically clean, uninstall, and reinstall your MWF build. Thank you guys for watching this week's tech tip, and see you guys next week.